Imagine waking up every day to an uncertain future, amidst a conflict that has raged for decades. This is the reality for millions in the region of Kashmir. The picturesque landscape, renowned for its beauty, is currently marred by tensions that have persisted for over seven decades. These tensions stem from territorial disputes between three regional powers, India, Pakistan, and China. Each of these nations lay claim to parts of this strategically important region, leading to a complex and volatile geopolitical situation. The local population, caught in the crossfire of these disputes, faces daily challenges that range from restricted movement to an unpredictable and often violent political climate. Yet despite the hardships, the resilient spirit of the Kashmiri people remains unbroken. The intricate tapestry of Kashmir's current situation is woven with threads of historical disputes, political maneuvering and the indomitable will of its people. To understand the present, we must first delve into the past. The seeds of the Kashmir conflict were sown in 1947, during the partition of British India. This year marked the end of British colonial rule in the Indian subcontinent, giving birth to two new sovereign nations, India and Pakistan. The partition was based on a principle that aimed to ensure political stability and religious harmony. Predominantly Hindu areas were to form India, while regions with a Muslim majority were to constitute Pakistan. But, as with any major geopolitical event, there were complexities. One such intricacy was the princely state of Kashmir. On one hand, Kashmir was a Muslim-majority region. On the other, it was ruled by a Hindu leader, Maharaja Hari Singh. This unique situation presented an anomaly in the partition principle and led to a significant point of contention between the newly formed nations. Kashmir's ruler, Maharaja Hari Singh, was presented with a choice, accede to India, accede to Pakistan, or remain independent. This choice was not straightforward, as each option carried its own set of challenges and implications. The Maharaja initially chose to remain independent, hoping to maintain the harmony of his diverse subjects. However, as the situation deteriorated with an invasion from Pakistan, he chose to accede to India in exchange for military support. This decision was not taken lightly, and was met with resistance, especially from Pakistan. Pakistan felt betrayed as it believed Kashmir, being a Muslim-majority region, should have naturally acceded to them. India, on the other hand, stood by the Maharaja's decision, arguing it was within his rights to decide the fate of his state. This disagreement over the status of Kashmir laid the groundwork for a long-standing conflict, the reverberations of which are still felt today. The beautiful valley, known for its serene landscapes and rich culture, became a stage for political maneuverings and military standoffs. With its ruler's decision to accede to India, Kashmir became a battleground. A battleground that has seen wars, insurgency, and diplomatic stalemates, shaping the geopolitics of the region for over seven decades. The decision sparked a series of wars, forever changing the landscape of the region. With the partition of India in 1947, the princely state of Jammu and Kashmir found itself in the eye of a storm. A war broke out between newly independent India and Pakistan, marking the beginning of a long-standing conflict over the region. The war ended in 1948 with a UN-brokered ceasefire, leaving the region divided along what came to be known as the Line of Control. With no resolution in sight, another war erupted in 1965. The spark was lit by Operation Gibraltar, a failed attempt by Pakistan to incite a rebellion in Indian-administered Kashmir. The conflict lasted for five months and ended in a stalemate, with both sides agreeing to a UN-mandated ceasefire. The conflict over Kashmir escalated further in 1971, a war that was part of the larger Bangladesh Liberation War. This time, the war resulted in a decisive victory for India and led to the creation of Bangladesh, formerly East Pakistan. However, the Kashmir issue remained unresolved. The most recent large-scale military engagement over Kashmir was the Kargil War of 1999. This conflict, fought in the rugged terrains of the Kargil district in Kashmir, was initiated by Pakistani troops and Kashmiri insurgents infiltrating Indian territory. After intense fighting for over two months, the Indian forces successfully pushed back the infiltrators. Each of these wars has left a deep imprint on the psyche of the people of Kashmir, and the region as a whole. The scars of these conflicts are still visible, and the echoes of the battles still resonate in the valleys of Kashmir. The line of control, a de facto border, continues to be a simmering point of tension and a constant reminder of the unresolved dispute. Despite numerous wars, a resolution remained elusive, 
the region of Kashmir continues to be a bone of contention between India and Pakistan, with the people of Kashmir caught in the crossfire of this protracted conflict. While India and Pakistan were the main players, another giant lurked in the shadows, China. In the complex tapestry of the Kashmir conflict, China has woven its own threads. Its involvement began in earnest in the early 1960s when it occupied Aksai Chin, a region in the eastern part of what was then India's Jammu and Kashmir state. This occupation was part of the larger Sino-Indian border conflict, and it has never been resolved. To this day, Aksai Chin remains under Chinese control serving as a stark reminder of the unresolved tensions between these two Asian giants. But why, you might ask, does China have such a vested interest in this remote mountainous region? Well, the answer lies in the strategic importance of Aksai Chin to China. The region provides a direct route between Tibet and Xinjiang, two of China's autonomous regions, making it a critical part of China's geopolitical strategy. But China's interests in the Kashmir conflict extend beyond Aksai Chin. The country has also been a longtime ally of Pakistan providing it with both political and military support. This alliance is another key thread in the intricate web of the Kashmir conflict, further complicating the situation. Additionally, China has also shown interest in the region's water resources. The Indus River, which flows through Kashmir, is a major source of water for both India and Pakistan. China's control over parts of the river's watershed gives it a significant amount of leverage in the region. So, what does all this mean? Simply put, China's involvement in the Kashmir conflict isn't just about a piece of land. It's about maintaining strategic control, supporting allies, and accessing valuable resources. It's a game of geopolitical chess, with Kashmir serving as a key square on the board. The involvement of China added another complex layer to the Kashmir conflict. Amidst the power struggles and political maneuverings, the people of Kashmir bore the brunt of the conflict. This is the often overlooked side of the story, the humanitarian impact that has left deep scars on the land and in the hearts of its people. Let's talk about displacement first. Since the beginning of this long-standing conflict, countless families have been forced to leave their ancestral homes. The numbers are staggering. Hundreds of thousands of people have been displaced, creating a diaspora that has spread far and wide. Their lives have been uprooted, their sense of belonging shattered. Then there are the human rights abuses. Reports of violence, enforced disappearances and torture are not uncommon. The echoes of these atrocities reverberate through the valleys of Kashmir, each one a haunting reminder of the cost of conflict. The world watches in silence as these abuses continue, an uncomfortable truth that we must confront. But the impact doesn't stop there. The economic challenges faced by the people of Kashmir are equally harrowing. The continuous unrest has stunted economic growth, leaving many in a state of perpetual poverty. Industries that once flourished have crumbled, jobs have been lost, and the future looks uncertain. The children of Kashmir, the most vulnerable victims of this conflict, have had their education disrupted, their childhood stolen. They are the lost generation, their dreams and aspirations held hostage by a conflict they did not create. And yet, amidst all the hardship, the spirit of the people of Kashmir remains unbroken. They continue to hope, to dream, to fight for a better future. But the question remains, how much longer must they endure? How many more generations will bear the scars of this conflict? The humanitarian impact of the Kashmir conflict is not just a statistic, it's a lived reality for the people of Kashmir. It's a testament to their resilience, their courage, and their undying hope for peace. For the people of Kashmir, the conflict has been a constant source of suffering and uncertainty. The Kashmir conflict is not just a local issue, it has far-reaching implications for the region and the world. To understand the ripple effect of this long-standing conflict, let's first delve into its impact on India-Pakistan relations. This dispute has been the primary cause of tension between these two nuclear-armed nations since their independence. It has led to multiple wars and countless skirmishes along the line of control fueling an arms race and cultivating a deep-seated mistrust that hinders any diplomatic progress. Beyond the borders of these two countries, the conflict also significantly affects regional stability. It feeds into the broader power dynamics of South Asia, an area fraught with its own set of complex rivalries and alliances. The conflict in Kashmir has the potential to ignite a larger regional conflict, particularly given the involvement of other regional powers such as China. Speaking of global geopolitics, the Kashmir conflict is not an isolated issue. It is intricately linked with global power structures and international relations. 
Major world powers including the United States, Russia and China have vested interests in the region and their policies can potentially influence the trajectory of this conflict. The Kashmir dispute also impacts global peace efforts as it is one of the longest unresolved conflicts on the United Nations agenda. This conflict has implications for global security as well. The volatile situation in the region has often been exploited by extremist groups, posing a significant challenge to international counter-terrorism efforts. The instability in Kashmir provides fertile ground for such groups to grow, a reality that concerns not only South Asia but the entire world. Reflecting on these factors, it becomes clear that the Kashmir conflict is not a localized issue contained within the borders of India and Pakistan. It is a geopolitical quagmire that extends far beyond, influencing regional stability and global politics. The Kashmir conflict continues to shape the geopolitical landscape of South Asia. And until a viable solution is found, its implications will continue to reverberate around the globe. The path to peace in Kashmir is fraught with challenges but not impossible. As we explore potential pathways to resolving this long-standing conflict, it's clear that a multifaceted approach is needed. No single solution can address the complexities inherent in this situation. Instead, the road forward will likely involve a mix of diplomacy, international intervention, and grassroots peace-building efforts. Diplomacy, though often a slow and painstaking process, is instrumental in easing tensions and fostering dialogue. It involves not just the political leaders of India, Pakistan and China, but also international bodies like the United Nations. The goal is to create a space where these parties can negotiate, discuss their differences, and hopefully, find common ground. However, diplomacy alone may not be enough. International intervention, in the form of peacekeeping missions or mediation, could also play a crucial role. The international community has a moral and ethical responsibility to help prevent further escalation of the conflict and ensure the human rights of the people of Kashmir are protected. In addition to these broad-scale efforts, grassroots peace-building initiatives are equally important. These are typically community-driven endeavors aimed at promoting mutual understanding and fostering a culture of peace from the ground up. They involve local leaders, community organizations, and ordinary individuals who are directly affected by the conflict. Their voices, often overlooked in high-level negotiations, are vital in shaping a sustainable and inclusive peace process. These approaches are not mutually exclusive. In fact, they should be pursued in tandem. Diplomacy provides the framework for dialogue and negotiation. International intervention ensures that this process is fair and that human rights are upheld, and grassroots initiatives ensure that the peace process is rooted in the realities on the ground, addressing the needs and aspirations of the people who live in Kashmir. The quest for peace in Kashmir is a journey that we must all embark on for the sake of those who call it home. The story of Kashmir is a tale of a paradise lost in time, caught in a web of geopolitical interests. It's a narrative woven with threads of historical context, regional power dynamics, and the human lives that are caught in the crossfire. Let's journey back to where it all began, the partition of India in 1947. A moment in history that sowed the seeds of discord and gave birth to a conflict that would span decades. India and Pakistan, two newborn nations, locked in a bitter struggle over the beautiful region of Kashmir. Then, we ventured into the wars over Kashmir, a series of violent confrontations that have left a profound impact on the region. These battles, fought on the backdrop of majestic valleys and snow-capped peaks, have shaped the course of Kashmir's history and its people. We also examined the role of China, a key player in the regional power dynamics, its strategic interests in the region and its complex relationships with India and Pakistan have only added more layers to an already intricate situation. The humanitarian impact of the conflict is a poignant reminder of the cost of war. The people of Kashmir, the true bearers of this long-standing conflict have suffered greatly. Their stories of resilience and hope amidst the turmoil are a testament to the human spirit. We also explored the regional implications of the conflict. The ripple effects of the Kashmir issue have far-reaching consequences, affecting not just the immediate neighbors, but the entire South Asian region and beyond. Finally, we looked at the road ahead. The future of Kashmir remains uncertain, but it's clear that a peaceful resolution is essential, not just for the people of Kashmir, but for regional stability and global peace. As we seek to understand the complexities of Kashmir, we are reminded of our shared responsibility to promote peace and justice in a world often marred by conflict.